How's it going guys? Um, I'm going to show you a couple things that I learned um, as far as the my Ford Touch. Um, a lot of us obviously have been having a lot of problems with the system, but um, in my experience, Ford does a decent job on my end as far as uh, trying to get this thing fixed. Um, as you can tell, I'm in an Explorer, 2011 Ford Explorer with the Sony system. Um, I had a problem with the power button. Um, the radio was staying on. When I would exit the vehicle, I'd come back to the vehicle and sometimes the music would blare out without even starting the vehicle on some random channel. Um, they said that this whole thing had shorted out. I was unable to turn the radio off and off and back on manually. Um, and as you can tell, when they replaced this, this was about a $700, $700 repair. It wasn't coming under my warranty at the time. But they replaced it with a new style uh, bezel. Um, it has the physical button now. And then the eject button is now moved over here. But um, what I'm going to show you real quick is how to put the um, My Ford Touch into diagnostic mode. Which is not really things you can change, but there is some things that you can view as far as like your GPS and um, some other information. Um, first thing you want to do is you want to get the vehicle um, at least in accessory mode. So I'm just going to put it in accessory mode. Um, the radio will boot up. You want to make sure you don't have a CD in here. Um, if you do have a CD, it'll just kick it out. So it's better if you just wait on that. I'm going to turn the volume down. So I'm going to do this with one hand. What you got to do is you got to press eject. And then as soon as you press eject, you want to hit the right seek, uh, seek, seek right button and just hold it. So eject and just press and hold it. And then you'll get a, a screen here in a bit. There you go. It automatically okay so as you can tell as soon as you get into diagnostic it wants to do a speaker test right away in uh, my version I have the Sony system so it has you know I think the eight or nine speakers I don't remember how many Anyways, this is the menu. You get all of its touch uh, activated. You get the AM, a, uh, APIM diagnostics, which basically just shows you the part numbers, the software versions, configuration status, GPS information. You can do tone tests, which really don't do anything. It just does a few sounds from the speakers. That's all it does. I think that has something to do with maybe like the reverse uh, alerts. Um, you're going to hit end test and then your GPS information. It's right now showing the time and uh, a couple other things, the lat long, a uh, number of satellites I have um, here at the, uh, where I'm at. And then it also uh, will give you some other information that you can look at. Um, let's see. One of the thing I thought was pretty cool was the configuration status. This you can go through and it'll also it'll tell you what kind of um, options are enabled on the vehicle, like um, HD radio, heated seats, that kind of thing. Um, unfortunately, you can't change anything. Obviously, um, for some reason, some of the information just doesn't seem right. Like I have obviously the um, where is it rear air conditioning for the back of the Explorer, and it has it doesn't have anything on there. Um, a couple of other things. Let's see. You can recalibrate your touchscreen. That's good if you have to obviously kind of um, you know get away from the button you're actually pushing to actually get it to work you know just like a regular touch screen on a computer you'll just re uh, reconfigure it with uh, the calibration um, touch screen activation it basically does a grid I'll show you and then each uh, button you hit see it turns blue and white showing that you did hit that spot it's a good way of learning if there's any dead spots couple of other things and of course the exit diagnostic um, takes you out but again you can get in and do a couple of other changes of the vehicle I mean not, I'm sorry you can't change anything of the vehicle but you can view some stuff um, the thing that I found it on said try to own risk but I didn't have any problems with it um, it's just kind of something cool I think there's a way to reboot it in there um, I'll have to go back and play with it but that's how you get into diagnostic mode um, if you have any questions just check some forms or if you can write down at the bottom um, what uh, question you have, and I'll see if I can answer it. Thanks, guys. Bye.